My legs are going numb here. <laughs> Good morning from the ocean. <laughs> Today is the full day two on the Drake Passage and we are still traveling, trying to get to the Antarctica. There are some mandatory meetings that we have to go to throughout the day. Mostly are covering the regulation that you have to follow once you get to Antarctica. And also later on today, we start to arrive at the uh, South Shetland Islands and then hopefully we're gonna be able to you know, land or doing some kind of uh, excursion later. Turn these out, and if there's something that you feel that you're doing is unsafe or you have any concern, come see me and I'll try to publicly enforce the rules. All the drivers and all the staff are professionals and they've been doing that. This part of the world, uh, the treaty is law and the guidelines that are created by IATA are I've been pretty excited. There's a lot of guidelines and photos and we almost get there. And we learned that sometime last night we crossed over the Antarctic Circle. And that means that we have entered a completely different biological area. So in other words, the wildlife in the water is completely different down here than it is above the Arctic Circle. Seeing a couple of albatrosses out here doing their hunting, very, very far from home. In about six or seven hours, we should be stopping uh, somewhere. And some people are gonna go kayaking. Some people are going to be going on an excursion in the Zodiacs. So right now we have to go get fitted out for our kayaking equipment. Uh, so we can be ready uh, when we're ready to do that. It's just the nature of this. We're trying to get you fitted in something anyways. Um, Sorry. Uh, but it's just less water and you know, going through the cracks here. But I think it's good to start. Yes, we're not, we're not paddling so hard. Do you feel safe? Yes, very. That's because you're not actually in the kayak yet. He looks really bulky though. So what we're doing now is the vacuuming party. Everything that we're gonna wear during the marathon has to be completely cleaned up. For example, like, you know, thread of your training shoes. There's a screwdriver that you have to completely detail out everything that is brown, which is technically all the earth. It has to be completely gone. And then later on, you're gonna go to the vacuum and completely vacuum them all out. And then also sanitizing solution that you have to dip everything in just to kill some of the bacteria that might still, you know, invisible. But it has to be completely clean. This is our first sighting of land since we left about a day and a half ago. And that's where some of these pieces of ice that you might see in the background are coming from. Then we dump the island over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll be coming into here, Maxwell Bay. The marathon will be running up in here. Okay. Here. Yeah. Other South Shetland Islands. It's us shooting Nelson Strait, and we're just turning around here now. And we'll come along here. And there's a number one place we could stop at our targets. Lunch is great, and today we have an extra special because there's a lot of things that are just really good, like beef and broccoli and then garlic tofu with vegetables. It's a pretty good lunch so far. We should instead continue southwest to head for a different island that has a little bit more protection from winds from the west. The island is called Half Moon Island. It might be just freezing right now and because he was standing on the deck for a while. I've been up in the bow of the boat for about two hours. For the first hour I was up there alone, probably people thought I was crazy. But I started seeing these spouting water and I thought maybe it was just waves hitting each other, but then I would see them every 20 seconds going in the same direction. I realized that what I was seeing was whales. So in the second hour, I actually saw some fins and a lot of little penguins in groups just jumping out of the water, like dolphining. It's really, really neat. But it's cold, of course, you could definitely see the land with a lot of ice on it. The, the wind shifted direction and all of a sudden it got freezing, so we, most of us came back down. We get the first giant iceberg sighting just outside our room. That's the kind of things I imagine seeing a seal on top of.
we are on our way to our first excursion to the Half Moon Island, I think it's Half Moon Island, yeah. On the way here, we saw a few penguins and seals. And the Argentinian banks. Bundle up and make sure it's all warm for a three hour journey. Well, a three hour excursion. <laughs> and we are ready. <laughs> you look like an idiot. <laughs> Now you guys are dead in the water, wind's cranking, you're blowing away from me. The whole thing's not going to go flat, right? And then there's a keel and there's the other tubes underneath. Landed on the Half Moon Island. This is the home of the Chinstrap penguins and several of the fur seals. And we saw some of the gentoo penguins too. And I'm so excited! It's so cool. So we found out that this is actually a fur seal, not the leopard seal. thousands and thousands of penguins and a couple of seals who are a little bit territorial uh, but the best is yet to come because to a lot of you this probably doesn't look like what you expected Antarctica to look like so you know, later on we're going to have snow covered glaciers with penguins as well so we're looking forward to that but for now we get a couple hours here and we're really looking forward to spending it here and there's a penguin right behind you coming. Island, and they're just basically huge ice. Hey, guy, my legs are going numb here. 
Come on, guys. I got to work to do here. The one in front was the as a cheat. Okay, they're all cheat shots. here on Half Moon Island. Now we are just getting ready to go back to our ship and we just hop to our Zodiac here pretty soon. And it is amazing. I had a lot of expectation of Antarctica and this is definitely one of them just seeing so many penguins up close. Tomorrow is gonna be a much better day. And then also, what's the solution's name? What's the bio... bio... Sanitizing solution. Okay, so this is sanitizing solution. I must say that the food has been really good, but tonight we have actually duck, which is a very, I guess, delicacy meat. Or maybe penguin. No, it's a duck.